The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, born that we might live. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, thank you again for the beautiful music. Uh, it is spectacular. And I want to talk a little bit about music tonight. I want to start by telling you about a small sadness um, that I experienced this summer. Nancy Griffith passed away in August at the age of 68. Who here knows who Nancy Griffith is? All right, we got a few. That's good. We only had like one at the last service. So we're moving up. Uh, Nancy Griffith was essentially a singer-songwriter, kind of a kind of cross with country and folk. She called herself, um, her music, what did she call it? Folkabilly, I think she called it. Um, it was mostly acoustic guitar, and she was one of my favorites of the singer-songwriter genre. And I went through quite the singer-songwriter phase when I, I say late 80s, early 90s. Um, but it made for a sad goodbye when I heard the news. Now, one of my favorite songs that she used to play, and that I used to play along with her on my guitar when it would come up, um, and my CD would be putting out the music, and I would get my guitar up, and I would play along. One of my favorites was called From a Distance. Now, who's heard the song From a Distance? There should be more hands this time. Okay, we got a few more. A few more, thank you. Um, this was... This was, Nancy Griffith did the first recording, and hers was the one that was close to my heart. In fact, when I heard the news that she had died, died the first thing I did when I got to my desk that morning was uh, hit, put it on repeat for a period of time. I don't know how long that period of time was, but I just wanted to hear it again. She uh, recorded it first, but Bette Midler made it big in, I think, 1990. Bette Midler made it huge. It was all over the place. It won the Grammy for the Song of the Year in 91. It's a big deal. As you might imagine from the title, the song contemplates what the, what the world looks like from a distance. Turns out that if you get far enough away, everything looks great. Even when it's not great, right? Consider these lyrics. From a distance, we all have enough, and no one is in need. And there are no guns, and no bombs, and no disease, no hungry, mouth, no hungry mouths to feed. From a distance, we are instruments, marking, marching in a common band, playing songs of hope, playing songs of peace. They are the songs of every man. This might be what it looks like from a distance, we all know it doesn't look exactly like that on the ground. But I suppose all of that is true if you get far enough away. Of course, that vision can be deceitful. Well, finally, the song invites God into the picture, in the refrain. And the refrain says simply, God is watching us. God is watching us. God is watching us from a distance. It's a really beautiful song. A bunch of years ago, I bumped into the song in what I thought was an odd place. It was in uh, Jewel's Christmas album. Who knows who Jewel is? Okay, we're getting more and more as we go along. It's good, thank you. She came out with a lovely Christmas album, and in it there's a medley that she has, and in that medley is included that refrain, God is watching us from a distance. But where that falls, the first part of the, the uh, medley is go tell it on the mountain. And you remember how that ends, right? Go tell it on the mountain. Because Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is born. But she follows that. So go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. God is watching us from a distance. No! That is not what this is about. It is not from a distance. How can you say that Jesus Christ is born here now? And God is at a distance. And this is on a Christmas album. And it's not the only one. Bette Midler added some Silent Night to hers and put it out on her own Christmas album. The whole song, not just the refrain. God is not watching us from a distance. The incarnate God, the very 
God who humbled himself to share our humanity, that God is not watching from a distance. Jesus is born. Jesus is here. Jesus is right here. God is right here. This is the beauty and the power of Christmas. God in Christ is with us, and that's the point. A God in the distance doesn't walk on water. A God in the distance doesn't feed 5,000 people from five loaves and two fish. A God in the distance doesn't cure the blind and the lame and the possessed. A God in the distance doesn't cry at a friend's death. A God in the distance doesn't suffer for our sake and doesn't die for our sins. A God in the distance doesn't rise from the tomb so that we can be saved. Jesus Christ is that uh, God in a manger bed, God with us, God here. There's a story about uh, a little girl in the kindergarten class, and uh, the teacher one day gives them some crayons and they're drawing pictures. And the teacher wanders by this little girl and he said, uh, "She says, what are you drawing?" And she said, "I'm drawing God." Teacher paused and said, "But no one knows what God looks like." Without missing a beat or looking up from her drawing, the little girl said simply, "They will in a moment." Truthfully, that's the message of Christmas. From a distance is a beautiful song, but it is not true. The presence of Jesus Christ in the world means that this little girl is right. We can know what God looks like. With that in mind, I'm going to conclude my final sermon at St. Mark's with a one-word question. I'll give you a little hint. Go read Matthew 25. If you want to shorten a little bit, start at the 31st verse. We can know what God looks like. The question I will leave you to ponder is simply this. How? How?